Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic and Xreal Maths video. In this video we are looking at this identity. Why is it true that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab? Why is this true? You can try it with different numbers. You can let a be a certain number and b be a certain number and see if this works. It of course always does regardless of what a and b are. It always works. But why does it work? Why is this true? Why is it not just a squared plus b squared? Where does this 2ab come from exactly? Uh, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So the way that you prove this, or at least show it for real numbers, um, is like this. So we're going to arbitrarily draw a straight line. Let's say this. Okay, this is a straight line. And I'm going to say that this line has got a length of a plus b. It doesn't matter how long a is, and it doesn't matter how long b is. So I'm going to choose anywhere that I like along this line, but I won't choose down the middle just to prove a point a bit better. I'm going to just choose somewhere that's not, you can choose the middle, but I'm going to choose maybe there. And I'm going to say that the length between these two points here is just a, and the length between that point there and the end of the line is b. Okay, so b is a bit bigger than a, but of course you could have made it so a was bigger than b. It doesn't matter. It does not matter how you separate this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to square this line. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line, and it's not going to be brilliant, but something like that will probably do. And this is the exact same line. It's also a plus b, and it's the, everything's in the same proportion. So I'm going to say this length here is once again a, and the rest of it all the way down is b, okay? And this is a square now, so we can sort of connect this all up. Again, it's going to be, a, it's an abysmal, oh, it's an absolutely abysmal drawing. But there we, there we go, it's a square. So do we agree that if, the, you know, if each length is a plus b, do we agree that the area of that whole square, the area of the whole thing is a plus b squared, right? Because a plus b is the length of the shape. So the length, the whole thing must be a plus b all squared. How do we show, because if we can show that this is also a different thing, if we can express the area in a different way, maybe we can come up with an equation. So let's come up with the area of this square in terms of smaller squares. So I'm going to sort of separate this first small square out. What's the area of this square here? Well, the length on one side is a and the length on the other side is a. So this length is a squared. Nice. And then let's look at the length b here. And let me make a new square. This is a new square right now. So I'm cutting it up a little bit. And this in the bottom right, this square here, well, it has a length clearly of b, uh, a width of b. So the area of this square in the bottom right, this big square, must be b squared. But hold on a second, we're missing a little bit because there's there's a few rectangles. There's one here and there's one here that we also need to know the area of. So let's do the one that's the sort of vertical upright one first. This one has got a sort of width of A, hasn't it? This is A and the height, you know, going here, this is B. So the area of this guy is A times B. And of course, with the same logic, this one is also A times B because it has a width of B and a sort of height or length, however you want to call it, of AB. The area of this whole square must be the sum of all of these smaller squares and rectangles. So the area of this square can also be written as A squared plus B squared plus AB plus AB, which is 2AB. Both of these represent the same thing. They both represent the area of the square, which means we can say that A plus B squared must be equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab independently of the values of a and b and that is actually a way to prove it so you can use geometry in order to prove this very very famous identity thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video cheers